Hello everyone, you're welcome to this class. So in this class, we want to look at factorization method of solving quadratic equations. So we have about five questions here. So let's look at it. The first question we have here, so ask us to solve the quadratic uh, equations uh, this. So the first one we have here is uh, we have 12 minus 4x everything raised by what three raised by two or that equals to zero so what this implies is that 12 minus 4x is multiplying itself that is 12 minus 4x right into what 12 minus what 4x equals to what zero so in this case that means 12 minus 4x equals to zero or 12 minus what 4x equals what zero am i with you so in this case so we're going to have here we're going to have uh, that's going to be uh 12 so we pick this on that bit uh we collect like terms right that be 12 equals to 4x or the same thing 12 equals to what 4x so that we divide both side by 4 divide both side by 4 by 4 by 4 therefore x is equal to 3 and x is equal to what 3 so that means x the value of our x here is what is three so three twice so that just means three twice so for question number two now solve the quadratic equation so we have two y squared plus y minus 10 equal to zero so we want to solve this so we're going to do we multiply this so our factorization method that's going to be for minus 20 uh y squared so what are the two numbers you multiply together that will give you minus 20 and when you add them together you get going to get minus plus one here <clears throat> so that is four times five four times five will give us 20 right all we have is minus 20 so which means one of these will be minus so if we put four to be minus so this will give us minus and minus four plus five will give us what one so which means we make use of this so we now have two x uh, 2y squared minus 4y, we put y there, right, plus 5y minus 10 equal to 0. So from here now, so we factorize this. So what is common is 2y. So what is uh, left here is y minus 2 plus 5 is common. What is left here is y minus 2 as well equal to 0. So that means we have minus 2y minus 2 into what 2y plus 5 equal to what 0. So which means that y minus 2 equal to 0 or 2y plus 5 equal to 0. So in that case, so we're going to have y equal to 2 or 2y equal to minus 5. So the Bible side by 2 here by 2 here so therefore y equals to minus 5 over 2 so and that's how the answer is being presented there so y is equal to 2 or minus 5 all over 2 and that's option y equals to minus 5 over 2 or 2 yes minus 5 over 2 or 2 that's option a <coughs> option a is the correct answer so question number number three now Question number three. So solve the quadratic equation 2x squared plus 6x plus 2.5. So we have 2x squared plus 6x plus 2.5 equal to 0. So we look at this, you can this one is in decimal, right? So you I would advise you you can multiply it out or you change it to all numbers. So if you multiply it out, you're still going to get the same thing. That's going to be having this multiplied by this. And 2.5 times 2 is going to give us 5, right? So that's going to give us 5, 5x squared. So what are the factors of 5 that can give us 6x? Uh, x? So we multiply that's 1x times 5x. So this will go top x squared, and when you add it together, it will give us 6x. So therefore, we have 2x squared plus x, right, 
plus 5x plus 2.5 equals to what? 0. Alright, so what is common here is uh, x. Alright, x is common. So we're going to have like this 2x plus 1. Then between 5x and 2x, what is common is 2.5 is common. So then we have, uh, so 2.5 and 5 is going to be 2x plus 1 equal to 0, right? So that means we have 2x plus 1 and then x plus 2.5 equal to what? 0, right? So that means 2x plus 1 equal to 0 or x plus 2.5 equal to 0. So therefore, 2x equals to minus 1 or x equals to minus 2.5. So this means x equals to minus half or x equals to minus 2 and a half. All this is clear. So that means x is equal to minus half or two and a half minus two and a half. So that is option. So let's put the option minus half or minus five over two is something as two and a half. So uh, five over two, five over minus five over two. All this is very clear. Okay. So that is option C there. So another way of doing this is uh, to change this to all number because sometimes my find got to do this. So you, what you expect to do is 2x squared plus 6x plus 2.5 equal to 0. So we change this one to whole number means you multiply by 10. So we multiply everything by 10. So multiply by what? 10. So this is going to give us 20x squared plus 60x. This is going to go plus 25 equal to 0. So then what can divide everything? So divide everything by 5. So when you divide by 5, by 5, by 5, by 5. So this gives us 4x squared plus uh, 12x plus 5 equal to 0. So from here now, so you can then factorize. So when you factorize, you have 20x uh, squared. So what are the two numbers you can use? 10 and 2. 2 times 10. We give us 12 and 20. So that's when we have 4x squared plus 2x plus 10x plus 5 equal to 0. Are you with me? So this, we factorize it, this is going to be 2x into what? 2x plus 1 plus 2 is, com 5 is common, sorry. 5 is common into what? 2x plus 1 equal to 0. So that means 2x plus 1 then 2x plus what 5 equal to 0. So we can then say, conclude that 2x plus 1 equal to 0 or 2x plus 5 equal to 0. So that's going to be 2x equal to minus 1 or 2x equal to minus 5. So that's going to be x equal to minus 1 over 2 or x equal to minus 5 over 2, which is still the same thing with what we I like that previously. So let's go to question number four. For question number four now. For question number four. So solve the quadratic equations. So this one involves a, a decimal. So we have zero point uh, zero one y squared plus zero point one four y equals to minus 0 0.24 right so oh the first let's first rearrange this this is going to give us 0 0.01 y squared right plus 0 0.14 y so this we bring it to this side that's going to be plus 0 0.24 equals to zero so we have for that uh, equations now so what we're going to do we're going to change everything for all number so you can see this is into two decimal places. It's also into two decimal places. Into two decimal. So we multiply through by 100. So multiply through by 100. 
So when you multiply it one by hundred, you get to one y squared. Y squared. So multiply to. So let me write that. So like, so multiply to by hundred. So multiply to by one hundred. So so this that will then give us y squared plus fourteen y. Use your calculator. You see what you're going to get plus. 24 equal to 0. All right. So for me now we can have this. So that's going to be 24 y squared. How about making sense? So what are the two numbers you can make use of? And that is 2 times 12. You know 24. When you add into that, you get 14. So that means we have y squared plus 2y plus 12y plus 24 equal to 0. So in that case, so y is common, that is y plus 2, plus 12 is common, y plus 2 as well, equal to 0. <clears throat> right? So this is y plus 2, and then y plus 12 equal to 0. So that is y plus 2 equal to 0, or y plus 12 equal to 0. Right? So what we're going to do here, that is y equals to minus 2 or y equals to minus 2. So that is the answer. y equals to minus 2. y equals to minus 4. So this, the option there, so you can see the one that is closer is option C. They're supposed to be minus decided. So sorry for that. Let's start for right. So this is going to be option C. As you can see. As you can see. All right, I hope this is very clear. Okay, so let's go to question number five. So question number five. So solve the quadratic equation. So we have this one inverse fraction. We have t squared uh, minus half uh, y equals to three. So here, the first thing you need to do is to change it to linear, uh, to change everything, to remove the fractions like that. So how we going to do that? So this one will make it over one, make this one over one. So what's the SM of the numerator is two. So multiply three by two. Multiply two by what? By two. So that means we're going to have when you multiply this by two, it's going to be two squared minus two times this one times two. This one also times two, right? Times two rather times two. So this will give us y. And equals to what six, so you can then rearrange that with two t squared minus one minus six equal to what is zero. So you can then uh, solve that. So this will give us minus twelve t squared. So this is going to be minus four times three. So minus four plus three will give us minus one. So therefore we have two t squared minus four t, right? Uh, uh, plus three t minus six equals to zero. So we factorize what is common is two t is common to both of them this time. So we have t left here minus two here. Well, what is common is three. So t minus two again equal to zero. So that means we have t minus two and then what two t plus three equal to zero. So that means t minus two equal to zero or 2t plus 3 equal to 0. So that is t equals to 2, or 2t equals to minus 3. Therefore, t equals to minus 3 out of 2. So, minus 3 out of 2, we have 2, minus 3 out of 2, that's option B. I hope this is very clear. So thank you. Uh, God bless you. So this is what we're going to stop in this video. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And make sure you put on your notification bell so that anytime I review like this, you get a notification of it and benefit from it. You can as well share the video with your loved ones. So bye for now.